Hello everybody, today we're going to create a Hirons Boot, well I'm going to show you how to create a Hirons Boot CD. Uh, this version is 15.2, it is an all-in-one bootable CD and it is an amazing computer utility. Uh, basically if you have a, a problem with a computer hard, hardware or software issue, this disc will ha most likely have a tool that will help you resolve that issue. Um, this is a super uh, computer diagnostics uh, tool. So if you need to fix your computer like get rid of antivirus, uh, sorry get rid of a virus or a spyware or there's something wrong with your hardware and you want to test it, uh, basically this CD should have a tool that will help you with it. Um, here's an overview of all the programs that come with the machine, with a, sorry with the CD. We're talking about antivirus tools, backup tools, uh, BIOS tools, uh, CMOS tools, uh, browsers, file managers, uh, cleaners, uh, device driver tools, editors, viewers, file system tools, you name it, it's on here. Hard disk tools, and, and the list goes on and on. MBR tools, MS DOS tools, network tools, optimizers, and other tools. Basically, anything and everything to fix your computer with. As you can see, the list is quite extensive. Now, this is a very powerful tool, and I need to warn you that if you don't know what you're doing with it, you can mess up your computer. In other words, it has the ability to erase your uh, data and uh, mess up your machine in a big way if you don't know what you're doing. Okay, but if you do know what you're doing, this is a very, very, very useful tool. Now, the advantages of this tool: one, it boots by itself; it doesn't need a hard drive to boot; it's self-booting. Uh, number two, it has uh, operating systems on it, like uh, Windows uh, X, uh, Mini XP. Uh, it has a Linux version on it that will ha allow you to partition your drive and it has DOS tools which run just in DOS themselves so if, if you for some reason cannot boot your hard drive this will give you access to that data and help you fix that uh, hard drive uh, as well this has Windows tools which you can run inside Windows so all around it's a very useful tool and it, I, this is a must have for anybody who's out there fixing computers I mean it's just incredible how many tools there is on this. Uh, I just used this re recently, uh, yesterday, to uh, erase a uh, BIOS password that was stopping me from being able to get into the BIOS. So, very powerful. I'm going to make a video on that uh, as well if you want to check it out. Just check my videos. Um, so, here we have all the tools that, uh, you know, Hirons uh, Boot CD gives you. Now, let's move on. Um, I'm doing this inside Ubuntu. 12.10 so if you don't have Ubuntu 12.10 and you have some other version of Linux um, you know you could probably follow the directions and get this to work if you're using Windows uh, as long as you're using you know burning software and uh, similar archive tools I'm sure you can do this as well it's not an issue um, but for today we're doing this inside uh, Ubuntu Linux so let's go download this uh, um, awesome utility CD uh, currently, I'm going to put not currently, but I'm going to put all the links to everything that I'm showing here you here on the screen on the uh, actual description. Uh, first one is uh, www.hiron.info forward slash pages forward slash boot CD, and that's the the uh, page I'm showing you right now. So let's go to the download page, which is www.hironsbootcd.org forward slash download. And if you scroll down to near the bottom, you'll see a green window with a Hirons Boot CD um, link beside the file name. The actual uh, link is hirons.bootcd.15.2.zip. So you're going to need an archive uh, tool, which Ubuntu comes with if you're using Windows. Well, you just need something like un Unwire or Unzip or something like that. Okay, so first step is to download the file. So we'll click on the file to download it. Okay, and we're going to go to the desktop. As you can see, I've already downloaded it just to save us some speed. So you download to wherever you want it. I uh, did it to the desktop, so, you know, just for ease. Okay, so click your save and download that file. Okay, once you've downloaded that file, then you go to your desktop, like I have it, and as you can see just double click it and my archive manager comes on and um, 
you know, you, you can extract the whole thing, but really the only part that really matters is the ISO, which is right there. Okay, so we'll click on extract for that. I've already extracted it to the desktop. You can extract it wherever you want, um, but what you want is the ISO. Okay, so I've already extracted the ISO. I don't have to, you know, just to save for save time. It's a 623 megabyte extraction. Um, so you extract it to where you want. I'm gonna hit cancel here and. Then I'm going to close my manager out. As you can see, I have the ISO right here. Okay. Now I'm using K3B to uh, burn this. So just go up to your dash home, type in K3B, and there's K3B. Start that uh, burning software up. And there you go, there's a K3B burning software uh, go up to tools and burn in Im burn image okay and there's the burn image now I'm going to choose the file I want to burn that's not it I'm going to go to my desktop which is home desktop and there's a hirings boot CD ISO check on that click on that click OK and it, you can see that it's going to make um, it's going to do an MD5 hash on this uh, if you want to verify the MD5 hash you'll see that on the download page there it is right there and you know C6837C is are the last um, six digits on that and you'll see that on the K3B C6837C are also the same, so I, I'm going to assume it's correct. Okay, and uh, it's asking me for an empty CD. I have a uh, an empty CD I'm loading in right now. Now it's a CD, not a DVD. And once that gets there. I'm going to hit start. Okay, that's fine. Cancel this stuff out. Now start is ready. Burn your CD. Doesn't take very long. Uh, this is a rewritable CD I'm using. Uh, you can use whatever, you know, a rewritable or just a CDR. Uh, get them at, uh, you, can add, you can actually buy them on Amazon. I'll give you a link to do that with. And... Shouldn't take too long. All right. I'm going to stop this right here. So just to save us some time on the video, when it's done, I'll show you how it works. Um, basically, burn your CD and then uh, leave it on inside your CD-ROM tray, and then we're going to reboot. Okay. So then I'll show you what comes up when you boot up. Okay, be right back. Okay, excuse me if my camera's a little shaky, but we're going to boot. Um, as you can see, I have a gateway, and my gateway requires me to hit F2. And what we're looking for, regardless of what kind of computer you have, is when you're booting up, it gives you an option to do something like enter the BIOS or uh, enter the boot menu. Mine just says F2. I hit F2 and as you can see I get a bunch of options on this side. One of them is display boot menu. So I'm going to choose display boot menu and then you'll see a, uh, I have a bunch of things to choose from as far as booting uh, devices are concerned. I'm going to choose my uh, external DV, CD DVD burner. Uh, you choose whatever disk, whatever drive you put your disk into, your uh, Hirens boot disk into and then you know boot off of that. And that's what I'm going to do here. And there you go, there's your Hirens boot uh, CD menu. As you can see, you have many, 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 many options. Um, keep going down here and I'll show you them all. Um, but 
you know, basically you need to choose one to go from. As you can see, there's a bunch of, you know, a ton of different options. Now, the main tools for rescuing or, or fixing your drive uh, are in DOS programs, so we're going to hit that. And then you'll see partition tools, backup tools, password registry tools, recovery tools, testing tools, so on and so on and so on. Mega tools, let's just say master boot record, you know, grub for DOS. You just keep going. And uh, each one of those has a sub menu. Now let's just take, uh, uh, let's go to partition tools, see what we got. and a whole bunch of different tools to do that again these are powerful tools so if you don't know what you're doing with them re please realize that hey you may uh, mess up your uh, computer so you know we want to try this on a on a old computer you have or you know to learn how to use it then that's probably a good idea All right so you know, you have a whole bunch of options. I'm, I'm not this. The the whole point of this tutorial is not to show you how to use this disc, but just to show you how to create it so that then you can learn how to use it or you can use it yourself. Okay, so let's go back to the main menu and DOS programs. You know, let's just say. Let's say testing tools, see if we get something right in there. Yeah, you got memory testers, so on and so forth. Um, let's try that. And there you go, there's a memory tester running. This is MEM86. Um, and basically it'll test your memory. Let's go back one. So hit escape, which reboots the machine on this particular program. Once again, F2 on my machine, I don't know what it is for yours. It gives me the boot menu and then allows me to choose my boot device, which boots my beautiful disk. Um, let's go here. Uh, again, choose what you want, but that's how it works. Um, okay, that should be good enough to get you going. Uh, thanks for watching, and uh, enjoy this disc.